All right, so as you can see, this bushing is shot. This little teeth broke out of it and it was popped out. Um, so there's no way for it to stay in there now. Um, it used this little spring here to hold it in place, but since the bushing shot, that spring just isn't strong enough to hold it. So what I did was I'm gonna leave the original spring and had a replacement spring, this guy here, that I'm putting on. It's hard to hold the phone and do this, of course, but I'm gonna put this spring over the top of this one. And what that's gonna do is push the motor in place when I insert it. So what it does basically is it's going to push it against the, the bushing now. So we get this on here, it creates more tension. So the spring just basically pushes the, the magnet part of the motor against the bushing. It's a lot easier with two hands, but whatever. Let me get it started here. We'll go ahead and flip it on once I get it back together. You have to be real specific about these guys and how they go on. Okay, so there's one down. So as you can see, I screwed the magnetic part of the motor back in. I'm gonna lock that down. Make sure there's no tools left in the machine. I'm going to crank it on. And as you can see, it works. So all I did was add a spring. Um, and before that, it was not working. So the spring was just enough pressure to, to push it in there. And of course, I lubed it up to the bushing really well. And I also uh, sanded on it with some fine, fine grit. I think it was 1,000 grit sandpaper or better for a little while. Just to get all the gummed up dirt out of it or whatever was causing it to malfunction in the first place. But it works now. On to the next part.